right, welcome back to part two with uh, the incredible, wonderful Mr. Vincenzo Sanapoli. You have to say it like this, though. Um, like you have to say it like this, and if you really crazy to, Brooks, right? Crazy Brooks, crazy Brooks, and Sonny Vinapoli. So no, I got that wrong, right? So <laughs> anyway, um, all right. So part one was incredible i've taken so many notes i always do when i speak to you i've learned so much from you over the years especially with traffic uh, like traffic generation it's been amazing and vincenzo has pushed me to take so many courses on the internet marketing side of marketing uh which has been has been amazing and obviously we went to two of the funnel hacking live events uh and they both they're both in nashville right yeah nashville. yeah which is kind of cool kind of cool being in the same place but you kind of also want to travel around a bit right um but uh, obviously now people can use that that GTI process to kind of structure their video and, and, and do the video and know it's gotta be straight to the point. And those three amazing call to actions that you shared, which are obviously different to what we maybe use on Facebook or Instagram. <clears throat> How do people get it ranked though? How do people get it to the top of the search feed? So if someone's typing for, using the, the three like the, the tips on allergies, if someone types in, how to get to the top if someone says tips to getting rid of hay fever? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that's um, very important, obviously, because let's say you don't do anything else than just doing the video, recording the video, and uploading that. No one is going to find a video unless, of course, as you mentioned before, you're going to start sharing with your team, social media, that would help. But you also want to make sure that your video ranks very high in the top search in the search results so new people are going to be able to find your video over and over again and also there are um stats, statistics that show that only the top five videos actually get about 90 percent of the total clicks for a certain result so if you are number six basically it's like you are missing out uh, a lot so you kind of need to be the top five if you want to have new people coming into so once the video is done and you uh you're ready to upload it now you have to do a series of steps to optimize the seo part of this so the number one is title and title is extremely important like on the facebook live it's very important because you need to make sure people like it's attractive so people click and then watch the video so the goal of the title is to get people to click and watch the video. Mm -hmm. And it's very important that the title contains also the main keyword that you want to rank your video from. So if it was how to recruit people in network marketing, well, if that's the keyword, and for the keyword, I mean more like a key phrase, not really just one word, then you include that in the title. If it's how to travel to like top three things to do in Italy, you do that. If it's network marketing recruiting, you include that. So you include it in the title. Then there is the other part, which is the description. And this is where most people actually get it wrong because they think the description is just a place to put as many links as possible. So they start spamming with Facebook, Twitter, uh, and you can check some of the videos. Like yeah. they literally have 20, 30 links in the description. And I don't know why they do that, but like, Ooh. imagine you are the viewer, which link are you going to click on? Like, I you don't know, there are 20, 30. So for the links, actually just better to have one or maximum two. So you give people like, okay, this is what you have to do. You don't give them too many choices. You know, a confused mind actually doesn't, doesn't do anything. So you need to make sure you give them exactly where to go. So just one link, that's what I, if you, people check your videos on YouTube, they see that there's the only one link uh, promoted, which is your book. So um, one link, but then in the description is very important to make the description kind of like a mini blog post. Mm -hmm. So what do we mean by that? Is that the description helps YouTube understand what the video is about. And then also helps the YouTube algorithm uh, making sure that your video can rank higher. So what you need to do is you need to include, I'm going to give it like, like kind of the basics. Then if people want to go more advanced, obviously there are more resources, 
but it's making sure you include the main keyword that you want to rank your video for four to five times into the description and not just copy pasting like five times and putting there okay that's that's it no if you need to like make again a text that's readable and that includes the description so for example let's say it's network marketing recruiting the keyword so in the description i would put something like uh in this video i want to share with you my top network marketing recruiting tips that will allow you to recruit more people into your business. So um, since uh, joining network marketing or uh, since starting, uh, since, since being a coach in the network marketing industry, I've seen that the uh, most important network marketing recruiting skills that you need to have, you see you're repeating network marketing recruiting more times. So making sure this is in the description. And then the last part is the tags for the ranking. The tags are the metadata, and, and again, they help YouTube understand what the video is about and they help ranking. So the tags need to include the main keyword and then other keywords that support the main one. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's getting a bit, you know, uh, technical, obviously, but uh, that's super. If you don't do these these things, your videos are not going to be found. Also, one top tip I can give you is YouTube actually understands and listens to your videos so it and, and and you probably noticed that as soon as you upload the video even a few hours later you already have the closed caption automatically uh populated from youtube yeah. that's because everything can listen to it so uh i have two top tips that i can give you guys and not many people know this so number one is during the video itself make sure you plan the video and you kind of not really skip the video but be aware to mention the main keyword multiple times in during the video as well because youtube is going to listen to the video and then it, obviously it sees that uh you are using the main keyword many times it's going to help for the ranking then if you really want to go to the next level this is like what some people also can do if you upload yourself the closed caption file for the subtitles to the to YouTube. So, because sometimes the, the populated one, the auto-populated one from YouTube is not 100% correct. There are some mistakes. You know, if you have an accent like me, or if you speak very fast, then you're not gonna get it right 100%. But if you upload it yourself, that's gonna help. It's like uploading another description. Uh, that's gonna boost your ranking. And that's for the ranking. And then the last part, is the thumbnail which is again crucial so the goal of the thumbnail is to get people attention to get them to read the title and then as i said before the goal of the, of the title is to get them to click and watch the video and then the goal of the video is to uh, is to deliver on what the title promised mm -hmm. that the uh the flow but the thumbnail is crucial because that's where what people notice first especially on mobile you will see it's they don't notice the title they notice the thumbnail so you need to make sure you grab the attention is very right you bright colors something that stands out compared to the other ones for the keyword and then do not put too much text mm -hmm. uh you do that like maximum 30 characters nice and also put something again like wow you won't believe this you know something that grabs attention like uh 10 people in 10 weeks or like uh, 10 right. videos in one week wow like uh something again yeah grab attention then people read the title and then they watch the video right 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 one second yeah, yeah. two minutes Uh, for those of you watching this, the, the befores and afters of this uh, this recording have been interesting with the cleaner. Uh, mate, this is this is this is gold stuff. Um, she kind of interrupted my my trail of thought, for bless her. But I, I I love this because I don't think, especially what you say when you mentioned about talking about the keywords. If people want to take this seriously, they need to really map out what the thumbnail's gonna be, what the topic's gonna be, what the keywords are going to be before they actually before they actually do it. Because um, that's gonna help, right? Like, and it's not, like again, back to the hay fever. You're not just gonna rank for hay fever allergy. 
yeah. you know, you might you might want to go hay fever allergy tips, hay fever allergy, hay, hay fever allergy cures, hay fever allergy, um, whatever. Uh, are there any free tools that you would recommend someone to use to find those the kind of good keywords to use? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's a great question. When you were talking, I was, I was thinking about this, and also I can give you guys what's my usual step-by-step -step process when I record YouTube videos, so it could probably help that as well. Especially if you're doing Facebook lives, that's even better because you can combine the Facebook lives and the YouTube recording immediately. Right. So, first step is obviously doing the keyword research. So making sure that you create videos about things that people are searching for. Do not create videos about what you think people are searching for. Yeah. Create videos about what people are actually searching for. So there are websites like, you, you mentioned this as well many times, and our friend shared it with us, answerthepublic.com. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's absolutely free, and that's going to show you what people search. If you want to get deeper into this and see exactly how many people the search volume competition, I would recommend you use two tools, uh, there, are, there is a free part and then also a paid but very cheap, like $7 a month, like extremely cheap, which is TubeBuddy and VidIQ. So th those are the two top softwares for keyword research and other insights inside YouTube. So you do the keyword research and then what you do is you plan your, that's what I would do, you plan your Facebook Live. So you go live and create a video about that. And the Facebook Live is about obviously engagement, you share the value, you plan the content in advance, of course, you know that your bullet points. And then as soon as the Facebook Live is done, you turn on the camera again and you record a YouTube video about that topic. Okay. Because you have it fresh, you know the flow, and you just do it right. It's like much easier than just turn on, turning on the camera from scratch and trying to record. It's really much harder that way. Yeah, for sure. sure. I I love that, mate. That's awesome. Yeah, and once you, again, you have the video, which just remember to include the main keyword multiple times when you talk using the GTI formula. Mm -hmm. and you have the video, you upload it, video description tags, thumbnail, and for the thumbnail, I recommend you use two softwares. One is free, is canva.com. There are many templates that you can use. There are so many things you can do for free. If you want to be go, a bit more like professional, uh, but also faster. It's thumbnailblaster.com. That's what mm -hmm. I use. You go on my channel, uh, or yeah. you can even go on fiverr.com and outsource it to like mm -hmm. people there. But uh, that's what I do, like thumbnailblaster.com. And then you have the thumbnail. You you hit like upload. You uh, you make it public, and then of course make sure to share it with your community, with your team, with other people, and this will give you like big advantage right and, that, and that's it right so i for me i i personally when it comes to thumbnails i recommend finding the biggest channels that you can think of uh and go and see those most their most popular videos because you can kind of you know sort in in order of most popular and go and take inspiration from the title that they use and the uh the title that they use and also the thumbnail that you use a lot of them are like like they're all kind of crazy images, you know what I mean, right? Uh, and they're all they're all banged on, and every time you watch it, it's always relevant what you're searching. Last thing I mention here is, and I'll ask you, Vincenzo, is if people are going to use their their groups, their teams, their chats with people that they already know, would you recommend sending the link to the video to watch and engage on, or giving them instructions to go onto YouTube? search for a specific keyword and then go and find in the video just so YouTube feels like it's more natural. Yeah, that would be like <laughs> best of the best. If they can do that. So, um, you know, most people are lazy, so they prefer to have the link. Mm -hmm. But of course, uh, if, uh, if you can instruct people and ask for help and say, okay, guys, just go on YouTube and type in this keyword, and then find my video and watch it, that's gonna trigger the algorithm even more because YouTube feels that, obviously knows that natural, like a real person went on YouTube, searched for a keyword and then click on that specific video. That's what, what's gonna 
really like jumpstart and skyrocket the rankings. I love it, mate. This has been so, so good. Guys, for anyone who wants to really dive deep into YouTube, yes, you can go out there and take messy action, but if you really want to get structured, organized, and just dominate, I promise you this, go, in, go onto YouTube and search your company name. There's a huge, huge opportunity for you to be at the top of YouTube every single time your company products are mentioned, every single time your company names are mentioned. Imagine the huge amount of leads that you can create. I'll tell you this before we go, go just type, uh, write down tubestartcourse.com, T-U-B-E-S-T-A-R-T-C-O-U-R-S-E.com. So tubestartcourse.com. Uh, that's Vincenzo's epic, epic training course on all things YouTube. I'll just tell him, since since I've been kind of leveraging what Vincenzo teaches and how he's been helping me massively with YouTube, this year alone, from our YouTube channel, we do one a week. So, and in fact, I don't know, Vincenzo, I probably missed about a month. Uh, so yeah. it's probably been like five months, probably about, about, it's probably been about 20 videos. And we've generated, I'm looking at my, my kind of reports here, we've generated over 2,000 leads that we can document over 2,000 leads. Imagine that. That's 2,000. Now, le these leads aren't just like, oh, yeah, go on, I'll put my information. All of these people have left their information showing interest in buying my book. I think three or four or 500 of those people actually bought the book. And these are people who have found the video because they've been looking for help, right? So, mate, I just want to say a massive thank you to you. Really, really appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you.